Oh yeah, it's it is already set, so it's okay. Um. Yeah. In map components, we have yeah. Um. We have already seen how to show a map, and in this lecture, we'll continue with the mark. Current markers. You see, um, the marker attribute represents the mark points and the mark current, which can be used to display the location of the marker on the map. And the attribute value is to record all the points information in the form of an array, array type, and each array element is used to display one of the points, the attributes that the array elements can contain. Yeah, we can contain these attributes. Showing this table, we have the attribute ID to um, represent marker ID. It is a number attribute. Um, the marker click event callback will return this ID. And it's better to set the number tag ID for each marker to ensure better performance when we update the marker. We have the the attribute latitude. Um, it's a floating point number uh, from minus 90 to 90. Longitude, similarly, is a floating point number to show the longitude with its range minus 180 to 180. Title, mm. to mark raw core, Icon pies, it's the image passing the project directory supports relative path writing. And yeah, it starts with this symbol and it means relative applet root directory. Temporary path is also supporting the, um, the, the attributes rotate. It's a rotation angle, the angle of clockwise rotation. Alpha is the attribute um, which is and to sh which is which shows the labeled transparency. The default value is one, it means no no transparency. The range of it is between zero and one. Why? Mm, to show the label icon wise, the default is the actual wise of the picture height, label icon height, the default is the actual height of the picture. Quart is, the, um, is to customize the barbell window above the marker. The supported attributes are showing the table uh, um, and line breaks can be recognized. We have the attribute label to add a label next to the marker. Mm, yeah, we will see the, the attributes later. Um, and cool. The latitude and longitude are at the, the angle point of the label icon, the default bottom midpoint. Yeah, you see we use X, Y, X means horizontal, Y means vertical, and with this array, it represents the midpoint of the button edge. Yeah, you see we have the bubble window, a quart. The quart attribute can be used to display the bubble window above the custom marker point, and the attributes contained are shown in this table. You see, we have the attribute content, color, front, uh, front size, border radius, 
background color, heading, display, text line. We have the label attribute, which is to add a label next to our, the part of uh, the custom mark point. And the included attributes are shown here. We have the content, color, front si font size, X, Y, to show the coordinates of each label. Anchor X, Y, the coordinates of the label. The origin is the latitude and the longitude corresponding to the marker. We have the attribute border wise, border color, border radius, background color, padding, text line. Yeah, mm. we have the attribute polyline, which is used to specify a series of coordinate points from the first item to the last item of the, the array. Um, the attribute it contains as shown here in this table. We have the attribute points, color, wise, dotted line, error line, error icon size, border color, and border wise. With the explanation you see with um, points, it shows the latitude and longitude array, line color, line wise, whether it is a The circle search attribute is used for circular area on the map. And the attributes it contains are shown here in this table. We have the attribute latitude, longitude, color, field color, radius, stroke wise. Yeah, for latitude and longitude, it's similar to what we have seen before. They are floating point numbers with their um, respective range. We have color, it is a eight digit hexadecimal representation. Um, yeah, and the last two digits represent the, the alpha value. That means the transparency. We have the field color, which is also a eight digit hexadecimal representation. The last two digits represent the alpha value. That uh, simi uh, similar things, radius, stroke wise. Here we have a simple application of map component mapping, small program. Yeah, you see here um, in this figure, we have a marker to show the place. Mm, it is the museum in Beijing. Yeah, okay, we all try. Try this. Sorry, I'll try this example. Should be this one, yeah. The last lecture, we have these uh, examples. Now, she, there's actually something I wanted to, to ask you about this example. Which one? Uh, the map example, to be specific. The last one here, the, um, with this? Yes, powder? that one. Yes, that one. Yeah. Um, um, I tried putting in my location and it didn't work. It only worked for um, locations in China, it seems. Okay. Um, yeah, I see that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I see that problem with, um, yeah. So uh, it's better to show our location in China, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
outside China or if it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, so it's better to show a, a Chinese place. Okay, Laoshi, thank you. You're welcome. So we'll continue. And um, yeah, we'll continue. Uh, yeah, to show the map components, the same thing. Um, I, I'm sorry, I want to snap here. What we can do, uh, we use our, this, yeah, similarly um, here, this one we can just put it as a comment. Yeah. We have already so many things here. Why can I? Um, D, exchange. exchange, I cannot put my comment here. Laoshi, you can select the whole line and then click on control and slash. This one? Yes. Oh yeah, it's use a different different uh different way to use comma comment. Yeah. Okay, yes, thank you. HTML way. Pardon? In HTML we give comment like this. HTML, the same thing. Yes, Lasha. Okay, thank you very much, Lori. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, um, I put it uh, like the same thing as in, in Java and in other, yeah, but in other, I, I have used uh, slash and uh, yeah, in JS file, uh, yeah, in JS file is the same as uh, yeah, in Java. It's JavaScript. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Roy. Yeah. Okay, here uh, we'll continue. It's like the um, previous examples. We use the title. Uh, now it's the, which one we have here? Okay, we are put it at 14. It's here we have the 13th one. For things as a my application, then we use um the same we uh, similarly we use our demo box as an example. Then we set our subtitle. We put the marker for um, Beijing Museum. Yeah, um, as in the last lecture, we use map components like this. We uh, set the latitude, we get a variable to represent it. Latitude. 
then longitude. Similarly, we put it in our variable. Longitude, and we use markers. Mm. We use markers to put the market, and we can use the, um, yeah, we can use a bond, bond, um, bond event, bond region change to find In Sorry. Mm, yeah, we use band, mm, band region change. Uh, we get our, we set, we will define our function region change. Then, oh, sorry. Now we need to define this in JS file. JavaScript here. Uh, in data part, we need to set the latitude and longitude. As we have used these variables, latitude. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get, get the latitude and the longitude of Beijing um, 79.0. Then longitude, oh, we, 116, 39, Then we get markers. It's an array. Um, we use ID. Um, yeah. Oh, we call it zero one. Um, we have the latitude. The same thing here. Um, then we set our icon pies. Um, as we all, yeah, to facilitate, um, uh, facilitate it, we just put the picture of Mona Lisa there. Um, then we set our label. Um, what? We all put it um, put as content is the Beijing Museum. Oh yeah, I need to put it in codes. Okay. Here we have set these um, variable we need to add here. And also we have used the function um region change we need to set it mm, yeah similarly we we write just a simple um simple one we put out we print out a message region change okay. Region change triggered. View changed. Yeah, just like this. Yes. Um. Also, just I think in last lecture, perhaps mm, we have already died. We can also set the style of the map. Yeah. You see, we have set the style of map. Okay, we all see it now.
it's a little slow. And you see, it's here. Um, we have a marker here to see Mona Lisa. We have put the um, Mona Lisa here. And if we, um, yo, sorry. We double click it, it can be um, larger, can be um, zoomed. Can you see? So you see in this example, in Weixin ML file, we have a map component to show the map. Yeah, also we have put the style of this map here. We have, um, it's 100% of width and the height 600 RPX. Also in JS file, we have set the latitude and longitude, also markers with ID, icon, etc. Normally, you see here is this example. Yeah, if you want to mark some place, you can use this example. Um, yeah, you can be use um, markers in map component to mark it. Now we will see a next component, canvas component. Canvas, it, uh, this component, we have default size for this is 300 pixels in wide and 225 pixels in height. We have these eight common attributes for this component. Canvas ID, it is the unique identifier of the, in this component, disable scroll. When we move in the canvas and there are bound gesture events, prohibited, prohibit screen, score and pull down refresh. Um, we have bind touch start, finger touch action start, bind touch move, move after finger touch, bind touch, touch end, end of finger touch, bind touch cancel, interrupted, finger set um, touch action, and we have bind long tab, bind error, etc. These events, yeah. Um, here we have our law of code. You see here, this code it indicates that a canvas with a width of one RPX and a solid black border here they are declared at this style and it's canvas id it's my canvas we need to pay attention that canvas id in the same page cannot be repeated if we use a canvas id that has already appeared the canvas corresponding to the canvas tag will be hidden and will no longer work properly yeah here is for the canvas component after the canvas component is declared, um, yeah, we see a simple drawing work is mainly divided 
into three steps. At first, we will have to declare the canvas context. Then we use the canvas context to describe the drawing. For example, set the pen color, and then we can draw. Yeah, here with this, uh, here, this example. As you see, firstly, we create a canvas context. You can always use this. Here is the, the ID. Then we set the fill color. We set fill style. Mm, uh, we set the fill area to uh, um, uh, the shape of the field area. Then we draw. Yeah. Mm. Here is for those small components. Um, then we'll continue with uh, um, yeah, we'll continue with other components. But what we are going we are going to see is the media. API, yeah. Um, in this chapter, we'll concentrate on the usage of media API, like image, record, audio, video, and camera. Yeah, I normally, after, Looking at this chapter, normally we should know how to select, preview, get information, and save our image. We need to know how to use record management, um, how to use background audio management, video, um, the choice, save, component management of video and the camera management. Okay, so we are look at them one by one. Firstly, we are look at the image component, mm, the image management. At first, how to choose image. The applet uses this method to select we should choose image to select image from the local album or use the camera to take pictures to obtain pictures. And the pictures will be stored in the temporary path of the device. And we can use it's normally used during the start of the applet. You see in this table, we have different parameters, for example, count to show the maximum number of pictures that can be selected. And the default value of count is nine. We have the size type, which is the original um, image, compressed image, and both are available by, by default. We have the source type, which is the album select pictures from the album. Camera uses the camera and default is both on the parameter success to return the list of local fair paths of the picture if successful. Fair, which is the call bike function or for interface call failure, complete with the core bike function at the end of the interface core execute when whether the core is successful or not yeah we have um you see here success this function it's um, it can returns 
these two parameters. Ten fire pies and ten fails. Ten fail pies, it is a string array type. It represents a list of local fail pies for pictures. And ten fails, it is an it is object array type. It represents the local file list of the picture. Each item is a file object. And yeah, um, it's the minimum version for all this is one, two, or. Uh, yeah, when we want to describe a file object structure, we use path and size. Path is a string type. It's yeah. It represents the local file type, and size is number type. It represents the size of the local file with the unit bytes. And it should be noted that the image obtained by Wei Xing Chu's image can only be used temporarily during the startup of the applet. If we need to save Persistently, we need to call within save file to save, and we can access it when the applet is started next time. Yeah, uh, we'll see these. Uh, yeah, we'll practice them later in, our, in the example. After choosing image, we can preview image. The applet uses waiting preview image to preview the picture. We have five parameters here. Current to show the link of the currently displayed picture. If left is a blank, yeah, if left a blank, it will default to the first picture of your IELTS. Yeah, you are able to show a list of image links that you need to be previewed. Success to show callback function for successful interface call. Fail, callback function for fail interface call. Complete the callback function at the end of the interface call. And it, uh, we execute it when, whether, um, to see whether the call is successful or not. We use waiting get image information to get the picture information. Mm, yeah, you see here we have these four parameters. The path of to show the path of the picture. Uh, we can use a relative path, a temporary file path, a storage file path, or Network picture of pies. We have the parameter success to show the no um the core bike function for success for interface core. Uh, the parameter fail, uh, call back function for interface core fail failure. We have the parameter complete call back function at the end of the, the interface core. And we execute whether the core is successful or not. Mm. Yes, yeah, seem like when we choose image here, uh, this success function, it returns some information. Here we return the width, the height, the pies, the orientation, and the type of the picture. Here, um, yeah, the width is a number Variable height, same thing. Pies is the local pies of the picture with the, the type of it is string. Orientation, we return the direction of the picture. Type, we return the format of the picture, like um, JPG, etc. According to, yeah, um, regarding to orientation, it, we have also several enumerated enum, values like up, down, left, right, 
up mirrored, down mirrored, left mirrored, right mirrored. Yeah. We'll see them. Up, um, yeah. You see, we get um, the applet use when she said image to photo room to set. Sorry. After getting the information, we'll save image. We use Weixin save image to photos album, this function to save pictures to the system album, which requires user authorization scope, write photos album, and this interface is supported from the basic library one to, uh, one to all, and the lower version needs to be compatible. Yeah, we have these four parameters with fail, pass, success, fail, complete. For fail, pass, um, it is the picture fail, pass, and it can be temporary fail, pass, or component fail, pass. Network picture pass is not supported. The parameter success is the callback function for successful interface call and returning string type parameter. This one, it, 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 it indicates the call result. Fail parameter, uh, a callback function for interface call failure. We have the parameter complete callback function at the end of the interface call. It, it, it execute whether the call is successful or not. Sorry, I have get something wrong here, but here we have an example. An example to show the image management. Um okay, let's do this together. I think I'll just components we have died. We may do Yeah, I'll see. I think we'll put them in demos. We have already simple examples of components. We may put another page to see this video media API. Sorry. And we need to add this in JS. We may need to add them in. Yeah, add JS file. JSON, yeah, in this page, we need to add it. What we are, um, page demo. Uh, we have correct media API. Have we put S? I forgot. Yeah, APIs. Oh, sorry. Where have I put it? Yeah, we'll see.
Yeah. You see here, it's here. Oh, it's okay now. Um, just delete this one, we don't need. Okay. And then we'll do this in media APIs. If you want, you can get a break of terminates. Yeah, and we'll return back after term, uh, in terminates. Okay, now she. Mm, yeah, Ramna is not here, Shibli not here, Azma not here, Karuzama not here. Um, am I right? If nothing is wrong, you'll continue with our uh, example. Um, yeah, here, we have created a new page for our media APIs. Okay. As usual, we'll put our title for uh, this example. We set it um, image. Oh, sorry. Image management. And then, oh yeah, it did an example. We set a demo box. Mm. We set our subtitle. Mm, what we will put, yeah, we will use We may use a function. Okay. We can use a function to set it. We can use, yeah, we'll try. We'll use Weixin get location. Object. And then we set a button to, um, yeah, we bind type um, to choose image. There we can. Um, then we set. We set the, the source of the image. Mm, the source of it, we use a variable to store it. And we, we set the mode of it. Oh, yeah. The mode of the image, we have already seen 13 certain mode of our image before. Then we use, yeah, we can, as we have seen before, we can 
preview image, we can get information, we can save image. Yeah, in this way, we can set several buttons here. Yeah, we set, a, uh, we set them as primary, the green one. Um, we set the size of it, mini. Then we find tab. As we say, we can preview image. Oh yeah, oh, after previewing, we can, after previewing, we can get the information, we can save. So here, um, we can get information, get image info, get the information of image. Oh yeah, we, oh, it's too long. It's not good to set C long for a button. And then uh, we say save image. Yeah, here and then in JS file, we need to define these functions. We need to set uh, choose image. Mm, we have the variable. We use on the function choose image. So we have the count. Um, by default, you see by default it is zero. We set one here. We have the size. Mm. Do you remember here the count is the maximum picture to be chosen? Yeah. And then we set, yeah, if we don't set this, it is uh, normally it's uh, nine. And for size tab, we will choose original and uh, compressed. We choose both of them. And then we have, uh, what else? We have the success, yeah, this function. Uh, success function. Parameter rise. And then in the function, we define a variable. We set term. Yeah, as we have said before, success function will return the term file price. It's the of the, the image. A source of it. It's this um, function. And then we need to also set the function preview image.
similarly we have uh, oh sorry um we set the local variable that um, we set the function preview image data the source of uh, the image to preview it we get it and then we can preview it also we can get the information I will set it later. Function. Then in here, the same thing. And we use the waiting it inform. We set the source um, data. So uh, yeah, we use the the attribute success and we get waiting sure toast function to set the title uh, wise. We add press wise. We also need the height. Also, we can get the icon set as none. Here it's for the information. And we need also a function to save image. Same thing. Oh, we use the waiting save image to a photo album. We set the file height. Yeah, it, we we can try not to use this, and then we set the function success. The same. Um, we use waiting short toast uh, title save successfully successfully. Yeah, we need to add. We are seed. Yeah, you see here we have this title and then we add we choose image. Yeah, okay. If we choose just this one, you see we can preview image. Yeah, it's it's with the full screen, we can get in the information of the image. Oh yeah, it's here. Being moved to the issues. I know.
cannot repage demo the file when uploaded. There are some. We can also save the image. We can save it in other paths. Normally for this Git information, I have set the title, the icon, Normally, it should be shown here. Um, cannot read the page, page demo that data. Now, all folders are ignored when upload. This. This file for get information, get image information. I have set, set the source that data. Source. Yeah, for this second one, Get information, get information image. I haven't realized it successful. Perhaps you can try. You can try to find why it cannot be shown. Normally it can be shown the whys and the height here. You see, um, in general here, we have, yeah, perhaps it's weak. Um, here we have in Wishing ML, we have set a button to select a picture, an image. Now we use the choose image function. And then we have three mini buttons to preview, to consult, get information, and to save image. We have their corresponding uh, customized function, preview image, get image in for, uh, save image. Yeah, you see at first, yeah, you can see when here, now the initial effect is like this. We haven't chose chose a picture, and these three buttons they are not. Yeah, they are. They are, They cannot function. That's why here we have parameter error. Uh, it is undefined in this in this data. If we choose an image, that we can choose this image. Um, normally, if you use your phone to to do this, yeah, okay. Um, normally, with our phone to do this, we can also take pictures directly. Yeah, you can try. Uh, okay, I'll try to. wrong with my error mr semicolon not that hey I don't use this affair anymore. It's not mine. I 
there's no error here. Means to semicolon in this file. My style, okay, I'll just to, oh, sorry. Okay, when did I, when did I modify it? When did I modify it? I am, um, seems that I haven't put anything there. Yeah, you see, if we choose information, we choose image here um, with our phone. Yeah, if you preview it with your phone, you can see we can directly take pictures here. Um, but by with our personal computer, you cannot take picture directly. And we choose our, when we choose one, we get it like this. And yeah, yeah. Uh, later you can preview it. You can uh, save image. That's the only thing that I. The thing I'm confused here is why I cannot get information image can you get your can you get, get information with yours here have you tried this example I haven't have set it, but its information cannot be shown. Um, here. Read file folder warning cannot read this. Fails. Get information image. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll try to reason, try to solve this problem after class. Have you seen where I have said something wrong? Normally it can show here the wise and the height here on this page yeah on this pic uh, picture but it is no notion here exchange it makes me Uh, 
Um, normal, perhaps. No. Yeah, we have choose this picture and we set the data in SRC. Then we put, we get the information. Yeah, it's change. Normally it should be seen here. Have you seen the reason why we cannot show the wise and height here? I haven't seen why. I think, Lao Shi, it's because yeah. uh, you're trying to show a toast message, right? Maybe the simulator won't show a toast message. Rather, it would show it on your phone, maybe? I have tried with my phone, but... I um, I haven't get what I I haven't got what I want. Um, you see here, yeah, I have tried, but not exactly. But normally, what I want to realize is to set the um to, yeah, you see here to to return the width and the height of the picture on the page on on the on the image on the picture. Perhaps I will see no more. Um, yeah, I'll, okay. Uh, if it can, yeah, with my phone, it cannot show neither. But I will see it later, perhaps. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll see it later. I think for I this. know the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think um, you need to set a duration for the toast to show. Oh, the duration of it, because it perhaps it shows too quickly? Uh, maybe it does not know how long to show. That's why it doesn't show at all. So set a duration for one second, like duration colon 1000. I think that's the code according to the developer website. Um, yeah, you have to put a comma and in the next line. Uh, yeah, duration, see, yeah. Duration, duration. Yeah. I will set it as for for example, two hundred two thousand. Yeah, I think it should work now. I will try. Um, I have changed this picture here. No, no, this. No. No. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see it later. Why I cannot show my information here? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I'll try to solve it. Or I'll. Uh. Yeah. Um. Mm. After the the image management, we see our record management. The app it used this function get recorder manager to obtain the globally unique recording manager, recorder manager. And this interface is supported from the basic 164 and the lower version needs to be compatible. We have these nine methods, start, pause, resume, stop, on start, on pause, on stop, on frame recorded on error. Yeah, we have their notes for each method start recording, pause recording, continue recording, stop recording, recording start event, recording pause event, uh, recording stop event, return string type parameter, temp file pies to represent the temporary pies of the recording file. Um, yeah, you see we have these different methods. Um, for the start method, we have the parameters, these seven parameters here with the duration to specify the duration of the recording. If a valid duration is passed in, the recording will automatically stop after reaching the specified duration. We have sample rate, 
number of channels, encode bit rate, format frame size to specify the frame size in kilobyte. Uh, yeah, after frame size is passed in, every time the content of the specified frame size is recorded, the recorded file content will be called back. If it is not specified, it will not be called back. Uh, we have audio source to specify the audio input source. Um, yeah. Here we have the relationship between sampling rate and code rate. Uh, we have some valid, valid values for audio source here. We have auto to show automatic setting on the mobile phone microphone is used by default and the headset microphone is automatically switched to use after the headset is plugged in. We have building microphone, headset microphone, microphone um, camera, camera encoder. Uh, this function offering recorded had this property frame buffer and is the last frame to see recording fragment result data or whether uh, the current frame is normally the last frame before the end of recording. Here we have an example, a simple application of the mini pro program media recording management. Yeah, we will see this example. So in this waiting ML file, it's similar. We have the title. We set the title. Um, the second one is the record management. Um, we have it is a. It is an example. We have our sub, no, subtitle. Sorry. Oh, um, put. Oh, it's. Oh, we can just not put it. Um, as it's just a, a, a small example. Uh, we set button um, to. Yeah, we. Get, uh, we set two buttons, one to start recording and another to stop recording. Button type. Yeah, primary. Yeah, we set at uh, the green one. Um, similarly, size mini, we use the bind type. Um, start record. Start recording. <laughs> and then I want to stop recording. Yeah. Um, so in which ML is easy it's just uh, like this and um yeah and then in this cell we need to set these uh, functions we need to define them um, for yeah we have set two functions start Mm, yeah. In start function, we set some variables, some um, options. Mm. We set the duration, etc. We put them in brackets. Uh, yeah, the duration. We set it as. Uh, 10,000, 
Mm, we need to set the sample rate. Use. We need to set the number of uh, channels. Sorry. We need to set the encode, encode the bit rate. The format for it. And also the frame size for it. Oh. Normally, frame size is written as this. And then, after this setting, we set this um, record start options. Yeah, here is to start recording, and we need to set for stop. We have function, the same thing, and then stop. And we use this function. And in um, onload function, we need to get, yeah, you see, we have to set this, I'm, we haven't set I'm here. It's a waiting. Uh, we use waiting gate recorder manager function. Mm, then we ask on store how to realize this function. Mm. Yeah, we need to, we can also play the content of this record. Audio context. Um, later we have audio, oh, sorry. Um, we use the source as um uh, yeah it is the rest and fair price and we have we ask it to play it yeah you see oh we yeah. Mm -hmm. When we tap start recording, we ask us to use the function of recording. And then we, uh, if we stop recording, we are played. You can use your, uh, yeah, you see, we have recorded the, um, and um, when we stop it, we play the recording directly. Have you seen it? At first in Wishing ML file, we have two buttons to start and stop recording. We have used the function start and stop directly. And in JS file, we have the, at first we get the recorder manager and we have Listen the on top on stop function. We get the temp file file price of this function and we um, play it directly after stopping recording. Yeah. You can try it with your phone. It's very yeah, it's very um very easy to realize. So what time?
Mm, but this, you're realizing. Have you seen these two uh, media APIs? Yes, Aushin. Okay, thank you, Kaya. As this, um, yeah, it's difficult to show, um, to 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 show in your assignment, so I may not set it as an assignment. Okay, if no questions, we will stop here. If it, no, do you have some questions here until here? No, Laoshi. Thank you, Kaya. We may stop here. Uh, yeah. So see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye. Yeah, we have just. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are back from week vacation, and we are welcome the weekend now. <laughs> <laughs> a really short week. <laughs> yeah, with two days. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.